In this video we're going to complete example two and we're going to draw the following angles using a protractor. Now just so you know there's actually three questions we're completing. Question C is on the next slide. So we'll start with question A which is a 60 degree angle or an acute angle and I'm going to start by drawing a nice straight line using a ruler like so and I also want to draw a vertex on my line. I'll also finish it off with an arrow at the end because angles have arrows at the end of it. Not all of them, but but I'm going to draw them with arrows. Okay, I'm now going to grab my protractor and put the center point on the vertex and I'm going to turn it so that the arrow points to the zero. I want to make note that the zero is on the inside of the set of numbers. Now I'm measuring to 60 degrees, so I'm going to use the numbers on the inside until I reach the number 60, like so. Once I've done that, I'm going to mark, put a little mark with my pen to show where the 60 degree angle meets. Now I need to move my protractor to the side and using my ruler, I'm going to draw a nice straight line from the vertex to the little marker I put in. I'll now finish it off with some arrows and it's a 60 degree angle so I'm going to write 60 degrees here. It also wants you to label it as angle ABC so we're going to do that with an A, a B and a C remembering that it's really important that you put the B at the vertex the reason for that is that the B is the middle letter. Now I'll get rid of these red markings, they're a little bit annoying there. Okay, now moving on to question B. Once again, we're going to draw a nice straight line and we're also going to put a vertex on it as well. We're also going to grab the protractor and put the center point on the vertex and we're going to mark whether the zero is on the inside or the outside. So it's on the inside. And we're going to measure 115 degrees. So we're going to travel around from the inside until we reach 115, which is this point here. We're going to mark it with a pen, put a little marker there to show where 115 is. Now moving our protractor to the side, we need to draw a nice straight line from the vertex to our marker. All right, now we've done that, let's try and fix things up a bit. We'll get rid of the markings that we don't want here. We'll draw arrows at the end of our lines here, or line segments, and um, we'll state the type of angle, sorry, the size of the angle which is 115 degrees. We also need to label it as angle EFG, so since the F is in the middle, our vertex needs to be F, and the E and the G can be either end, like so. Let's now move on to question C. Question C is a reflex angle, which is 280 degrees. Now the issue with that is our protractor only goes up to 180. So we're going to do something similar that we spoke about in example one and we're going to take 360 degrees and we're going to subtract 280. Okay now when we do that we're going to get an angle of 80 degrees so we're actually going to just for now anyway we're going to mark out an angle of 80 degrees. So moving our protractor to the side we draw a straight line, so we're following the same steps again. Put a vertex down, grab our protractor, put it on the center point. Once again, our zero is on the inside, so we're going to work through the inside. And we're going to go around until we reach the 80 degree angle, which is this one here. And we're going to put a little marker there with our pen or pencil and then move our protractor out the side. Just like last time, we're going to connect it with a nice straight line, like so. 
let's also neaten this one up as well. Let's put some arrows at the end of our line segments. And let's label this angle X, Y, Z. So let's put a Y um, down in the vertex and an X and a Z on the other two. Y being the middle, so that needs to be our vertex. Now, we've measured 80 degrees. So this angle here is 80 degrees when really we wanted an angle of 280 degrees. So, what does that mean? Well, this angle on the outside is our 280 degree angle there. Anyway, we're going to finish our video now. Just remember, if you read the description below, you can find a worksheet with questions related to measuring and constructing angles. Thank you and see you later.